The goal of this video is to explain how to use the Code of Federal Regulations to look up requirements for your vessel. This is an important skill to have so that you can keep your vessel compliant and so you know where to find answers about very specific questions such as how many fire extinguishers must be located near the galley on a tank ship. The Code of Federal Regulations, or CFR, are rules put together by federal agencies such as the U.S. Coast Guard. Federal agencies are empowered by acts of Congress to turn broad legislative goals into specific regulations or rules which have the force of law. These regulations are then published in the Federal Register for review and comments prior to being codified in the CFR. As a mariner, you should know how to find information quickly and easily using the CFR. For example, you might be tasked with replacing a fire hose on your vessel and need to determine the required length and diameter for the hose. You can look this up in the CFR. Hard copy CFR books are required to be carried on board inspected vessels so that you can look up regulations whenever you need to. When mariners take licensing exams at the U.S. Coast Guard Regional Exam Center, for any level of licensing, some of the questions they're given can be answered by looking them up in the CFR. There are hard copy books on hand at the REC for this. In summary, mariners are expected to be able to find information in the hard copy CFR. These days, you can also search the CFR online. The online CFR is updated whenever regulations are changed or added, so it's a great resource and it's very likely more up to date than the book you have on your vessel. We are going to spend a few minutes discussing how the CFR is organized, and then we will check out how to look up information online, as well as how to use the books. So, all of the regulations pertaining to maritime fall under the responsibility of the U.S. Coast Guard. We are interested in two titles of the code. Title 33 is for navigation and navigable waters, and Title 46 is for shipping. There are so many regulations for each title that they don't all fit into one book. So when we're dealing with the hard copy books, keep that in mind. Each title will be broken up into several books or volumes. In fact, Title 33 is made up of three volumes and Title 46 is made up of nine. Now, for each title that we are interested in, Title 33 and Title 46, there are specific topics broken up into subchapters. For example, within Title 46 is Subchapter T, devoted to small passenger vessels under 100 gross tons. Each subchapter is then divided into parts. Each part covers a specific aspect of the main topic. For example, Title 46, Subchapter T has 10 parts. You can see these 10 parts listed here on the Government eCFR website. Now let's talk about what you need to do to look up a specific regulation in a hard copy book. I'm going to show you around the book using a PDF version so I can easily share what I'm doing with you. The hard copy book is laid out the same way as this PDF. First, you should determine which title, 33 or 46, that you need to look in. Inside the front of each book, you'll find a table of contents that lists the subchapters and parts contained in that book. Next, you'll need to find the parts that cover the topic you're trying to look up. Some of the subchapters have an index in the back. Others don't. When an index is not provided in the back, you'll need to go to the list of contents at the beginning of each part to find where to go. To give you a sense of what topics fall under which titles and subchapters, here is a handy list. Let's practice finding the answer to this question. How many life jackets are required on inspected passenger vessels of under 100 tons? First, let's check out our handy list of subchapters. Let's dive into subchapter T, small passenger vessels. We need to figure out which volume of Title 46 contains subchapter T. Subchapter T is contained in parts 175 to 187, so we'll use this volume of Title 46. Now we will look for subchapter T and the correct subpart. We find subpart C, ring buoys and life jackets. Since life jackets are life-saving equipment, we'll look under part 180, for life-saving equipment and arrangements. Finally, under subpart C, we find 180.71, life jackets, and here is our answer. An adult life jacket must be provided for each person carried on a vessel. Now, let's see how we can find the same information using the Electronic Code of Federal Regulations. First, we'll go to the Government Publishing Office's Electronic CFR website. We will choose the title we want to look at, Title 46, from the drop-down menu. Now, we need to know which volume to look in. Check your handy list again. 
Which parts is subchapter T comprised of? We find that subchapter T is comprised of parts 175 to 187. These parts will be in volume 7. Now we'll scroll down to subchapter T and click on life saving equipment. Scroll down again to find subpart C, ring buoys and life jackets. Go to the topic you want and click, and here's our answer. Now, if you wanted to find your answer simply by searching, you can run a search for your specific word or words. The challenge here is that there are life jacket regulations for all different types of vessels, so you'll have to search through your finds to make sure you have the regulation for subchapter T vessels. Watch as I perform a word search for life jacket. One final suggestion I will leave you with is that you can search a PDF version of any book by using the find function in your PDF reader. Just like your online search, you'll have to narrow down your find to the specific topic you are researching. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Now you have an overview on how to find specific regulations pertaining to maritime in the Code of Federal Regulations.